But first, new information tonight on a deadly explosion that rocked a Warren neighborhood. Residents in that area say that blast was felt from blocks away. Police confirm one person died in today's explosion. It happened at around 6 this evening on Villa Point Drive near Shaner and I-696. Victor Williams joins us live now from that scene with what new information he's been able to gather. Victor? Yes, Steve, this explosion really took a lot of people by surprise. As you can see, the Warren Police Department, as well as several other agencies, are still here investigating, trying to get to the bottom of what exactly happened here. We're going to take you all the way to the scene tape as close as we can get because the power is out. We can't show you where this home used to be. But like we said before, many people are now trying to figure out what happened here that left one person dead. It's like a bomb went off. A home explosion claims the life of one and changes many others living on Villa Point in Warren Sunday evening. It was explosive. We're told around 6, 12 p.m. For some reason, the home suddenly blew up out of nowhere. Neighbors shot this cell phone video showing just how intense the flames were following the initial explosion. Two condos have been completely obliterated. Unfortunately, there is one deceased male. Investigators can't say for certain what the cause of the explosion may be. However, multiple neighbors say they could smell the odor of natural gas before the major boom. It was a very, very large buildup of natural gas. Cheryl Schaefer was inside the home right next to the double condo that exploded. Her entire roof caved in. I mean, the whole ceiling and walls and everything just caved in on me. I just sat there in shock for a minute and I'm like, what? I thought I was dreaming for a half a second. She had to crawl out through broken glass of the front window of her home, escaping with several minor cuts. Vibrations from the explosion, however, could be felt blocks away, making it a similar story for over a dozen homes nearby with damage. Lots of broken glass, destroyed furniture, and for Kenneth Bush, a damaged workstation. My tool shelves in my garage, everything came off. Our door jams are blown off. For people living nearby, this will be a 4th of July they'll never forget. Many of them stepping outside of their homes to witness the incident that unfortunately had to happen on the holiday. The owner of the condo where the explosion happened, a man identified in his 40s, was found in the basement under debris and five feet of water. With that explosion, if anybody was in occupancy of those adjacent buildings or there, then God rest their souls. It's a really sad situation to take place. We'll keep everyone updated on the cause of this explosion once it is discovered. But as you guys are seeing right now, these fireworks that are going off, it's not really settling or easy for these people to hear after this explosion happened earlier today. And Warren Victor Williams, Local four. Back no, to I'm sure those folks are not in the mood for celebrating tonight. Victor, you naturally in something like this think of a gas leak. What is Consumers Energy saying about this tonight? Well, Consumers Energy has had multiple crews out here. They've been trying to look at their lines and see if they could find any type of problem. At this point, they have found nothing. Yeah, a lot still to investigate. All right, Victor Williams, thank you, Victor.